right in the middle of campus of the University of New Mexico. And the building over there behind me is what used to be the campus bookstore. Now, about 20 years ago, the university wanted to move the bookstore to a new location. And they had to decide, what are we going to do with this big building right in the middle of campus? They made a really smart decision. They decided to move the natural history collections. This museum is one of the largest growing, fastest growing collections in the world right now. Thousands of people walk by here every day, and probably very few of them know that behind those walls are about four million specimens of animals and plants. Despite our name as the Museum of Southwestern Biology, this is really a global collection. Unlike most natural history museums, we don't have any public exhibits here. And that's so that we can stay focused on our core mission, which is scientific research and the ways that, in which that research enriches education for UNM students. We have eight full-time collection managers, eight graduate assistants, and several dozen students every semester that are busy working on the collection. A lot of specimens here at the museum are collected by students. So I use tissues collected from bats and other small mammals. Uh, my research pertains to a group called um, diving beetles. I study schistosomes, which is a certain type of parasite called a trematode or a flatworm. I help uh, with the day-to-day -day operation of the uh, Division of Genomic Resources. I manage the insect collection. Art the arthropod collection includes spiders and insects and crustaceans. As you can see here, these tanks are what I look after. Um, we help to sort tissue samples, process loans, and basically just ensure that all these uh, uh, genetic material we have in here uh, remains you know, in good shape. Everyone in this building is super passionate about what they do because they really uh, care about the environment, they care about animal populations and plant populations, and they also are passionate about the endeavor of maintaining these collections and all the history. This is the holotype for a subspecies of the Pearson's Choco, Choco Mouse, and this was collected in Bolivia the lowlands of Bolivia in 1984. We have one of the longest running bee monitoring data sets in the world. To our knowledge, it was started in 2002. This specimen is a true specimen from South America, which are really not very common in museums anywhere in the world. Everything has its own story, so even the parasites in the little vial have their own story to tell about where they came from. The faculty, staff, and especially the students of our museum here are constantly traveling to obtain collections that are going to support their research. Every place is unique in its own right. Uh, just last summer we were in the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific. Some of the things we brought back were these cuckoo shrikes, fruit doves, and parrots. One of the neatest places um, it's right on the continental divide where you can find these toads. These are called Arizona toads, even though they occur here in New Mexico. For me, it's probably got to be in the middle of a busy road near Mount Taylor, uh, where I pulled over and quickly leaned out the driver's side before another car came by uh, to get some wings of a poor will, this small night jar here, that were lying in the middle of the road. There's knowledge to be gained here that really can't be gained any other way. So if people want to understand our state or what's here, then they come to us to see the diversity of things. The idea behind these collections is that we're building a biodiversity resource, like a library for biodiversity for our research now and people going into the future. When I look back on my career, when all of us look back on our careers, we're going to, uh, we're going to see what we did to, to grow those collections, to make them more valuable. And we're also going to see all the research that emerged from all the specimens that we, uh, that we put down over the course of our career. And that's, that's really gratifying.